Good afternoon, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. So we're starting to put the garden to bed and thought we'd take you along today. Came back from the farm store a little while ago with four bales of hay, one of which went into the chicken coop and the bale that's been with the birds came out because we're gonna put it on the garlic patch. So this is the dirty bale. This has been in the chicken coop for months now. We've just kept turning it over and over and it was just in there really for the chickens to stand on and have something to mess around with. Um, but you can see it's pretty diminished at this point as compared to these big fluffy new bales, um, which means there's gonna be great compostable material in there and I want it on top of the garlic before the snow comes. We want that snow pack on it. We want it to break down further and disperse all that good, formerly inside of the chicken nonsense so that it will feed the soil. This is the state of the garden at this point. We are nearly ready to close it all down and run the tractor through here with the lawnmower. We still have a few brassicas going. That bok choy is doing far better than I expected it to. You can see these guys over here. Um, and to some degree that one kind of escaped the looper damage. And now that we've had a couple of frosty nights, the loopers are finally gone and maybe we'll get a full size head of bok choy out of this. Speaking of looper munched brassicas, um, the Brussels sprouts seem to be coming along. They're still pretty wee, but we have some time on them still. So I'm just letting them go and when we hear that the first killing frost has come in, then I'll yank them down, but they're little, they're little. Let me give you a, a reference point. You can see how small they are. So the Brussels sprouts are coming in. We've got a little bit of time left on them, which thank goodness, because they're so tiny. It's so itty bitties. Um, so I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer, see how, how much time we can give them to keep growing. Poor marigolds, that's the end of the marigolds. There's nothing left there but seed heads. And that's okay. I'm definitely gonna plant these guys again next year. They were so pretty. Uh, the arugula is finished. I'm gonna cut that down a little bit. And I have some more flowers in here that need to trim up. So today is really about a cleanup. I really cannot wait to get the chickens in here so that they can run through and do their chickeny nonsense. Um, but we got to clean up a whole bunch of stuff. So we are going to go about pulling things down and putting stuff together. I'm going to throw this into a time lapse for you, okay? Texas hands, just a brain blackbirds land Something of consequence between the blades of grass How can we ask you like this? These were those Chinese noodle beans. They didn't quite make it into uh, they didn't quite make it to ripe before the frost came. We'll start them earlier next year. In the meanwhile, I'm going to try and get them out of this trellis because sister, <laughs> Mother Nature knows how to tie a knot. Oh my gosh, look at all the mycorrhizal business going on in there. That bodes so well for next year. 
so my leeks are still doing really well. We had, we ate off of them just the other day. So I'm just gonna leave them in the ground and let them again go as long as they can. So you know how I had these tiny personal melons over here, these rich sweetness melons that never came up, appeared to die on the vine? Buddy, she never fully matured. Um, but they got started. What do you smell like? This is supposed to smell outrageous. I don't, I don't know if it'll smell like anything now after a frost and not fully matured. Oh, damn. They actually smell really, really good. Uh, all right. All right. We'll try these in a different spot next year. I still got seeds left. Celery. <laughs> so I pulled out the zinnias and lo and behold, the celery from last year that I harvested at the beginning of the year came back and we've got some celery. I'm gonna trim this down tight and We'll mark it so that we know where it is come next season. Look at this nice big bunch of celery we've got. Um, most of it's pretty skinny. So it's gonna be also very strongly flavored because you can see it went to flour. And I'm hoping it's seeded in there too. So what I think I'm going to do is I keep a big bag in the freezer downstairs for when I'm making soup or something like that. And I can add this into that along with any leeks that I'm going to emergency harvest as soon as it starts to get really, really cold. So these are onions. It looks like maybe the tiny little ones that I planted out of the Dixondale bag. Um, yeah, they, they're starting to mature. I'm going to leave them in the ground because they will keep growing if they survive the winter. Onions are biannual, which means you can get two growing seasons out of them, um, to get a bulb. So I am just going to leave these. And if any of them come back, that's that many more onions for us later on. So random ear of wheat, we think it's wheat, um, came up from the straw that we laid down in the onions. I'm gonna feed these to the birds, but they were just so pretty. I wanted to share them with you. So here we are. The garden is just about to bed. We'll run the uh, tractor through here, pick up, all the scraps and then Bill was gonna mow across it just to kind of chop things up somebody planned this one well yeah it's exactly the width of a hay bale ha so there you have it the garden is just about to bed um, We've still got the Brussels sprouts. I'm waiting on the Brussels sprouts. Um, I'm, hope I'm hoping about the Brussels sprouts. I'm hoping hard about the Brussels sprouts. I really like Brussels sprouts. All yours. Enjoy <laughs> them. I will. I will. Maybe I'll fry them up in something grimy. It'll be delicious. Make some hash, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm already planning recipes. I'm already planning how I'm going to cook these Brussels sprouts that haven't finished growing and hopefully won't get mushy before I get to harvest them. Um, but yeah, outside of that, there's not a whole lot else going on with this garden. We're going to be closing it down pretty soon. And then... And then it's going to snow a lot. Yeah, we're expecting a lot. Haven't seen Junkos yet, so it's not like coming next week. I'm sorry, Junko. I did not see a Junko. I saw a Junko. All right, I saw a Junko and then there was sleet. Um, We're gonna get a lot of snow. 
I haven't seen a Junko in like a week, so. <laughs> so winter's over, like we're fine. Yeah, no more snow. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. Doomed, we're doomed. <laughs> Bird is screaming. You'd think I was trying to kill him instead of having just given him some treats. I like to imagine that what he's hollering is, I celebrate you. It's probably not what he's hollering, but I like to imagine things like that. I would also like to train a passel of birds to come and do my laundry, Snow White style. That would be awesome. <laughs> it's not gonna be Zuzu doing my laundry. No. No. I believe we should employ that rooster somehow. Anyway, all right, I gotta go take care of the apple butter that is in the crock pot and just about done. Get it into some jars and put some dinner on the table for tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with us while we cleared up the garden and got it ready for the last little bit of the season and winter is approaching. So we will catch you up soon. Take care. You'd think I'd have killed him instead of fed him some treats, right? If he killed him, he'd be quiet. I was just thinking that, yeah. Yeah. You know, and I wouldn't want somebody doing my laundry with that amount of resentment. And no hands. Thanks for hanging out with us today. <laughs> Took an ugly turn real fast.